in this issue of the perspicacious minute we tackle the issue of the divide that exists between applied educational researchers and applied data analysts. For whatever reason, these two areas of specialists within the field of educational research have really specialized themselves in a manner in which oftentimes they don't speak to one another. Applied educational researchers tend to design the studies, either the design of experiments or they design the surveys, and they do the data collection. The applied data analyst would be the typical researcher that conducts the data analysis after the research has been collected, or after the data has been collected and the research has been published or the surveys have been published. These two uh, experts have not really been talking to one another as much as they should. And they should because, quite frankly, anything that the designer of the study uh, implements in terms of the study can have grave complications in terms of the data analysis. And oftentimes, uh, something as simple as the use of cluster sampling designs, which is very common in educational research, can have dramatic consequences uh, in the analysis stage of the process. And I'm hopeful that in the future we can actually do a better job of talking to one another. I know that educational researchers, the designers of research, have actually been doing a good job of producing technical reports of the surveys they conduct or uh, the experiments in which they, they run. The data analysts need to do a little bit of catching up. And I understand that part of the reason why they struggle oftentimes with the analysis of these types of data sources is because they are not necessarily trained in the complex sampling or the complex research designs um, that we have today. Most of them have been trained under the as the assumption that the data was collected using SRS uh, or simple random sampling or typical designs uh, with simple uh, designs and simple structures of data. Unfortunately, that's not the world in which most educational researchers live in and that's not the world in which most data analysts have to partake in. I'm hopeful that in the future we can actually create uh, research uh, or apply data analysts who are going to be just as sophisticated about the analysis of the data that they encounter as we have in terms of the applied researchers, the designers of the experiments, or the designers of the surveys themselves. And hopefully, if we do achieve that, we can actually have more rigorous and more substantive conversations about the research that's being conducted.